Hi, I'm Luis Moreno from Legion of Racers and I will be doing a review of the latest in the GRID series, GRID Legends. The grid series of racing games have been around for quite some time now, tracing back its origins to the Toka Touring Car series of racing games back in 1997, pretty much as old as Gran Turismo. Grid Legends is a direct sequel to the 2019 reboot and Toka Race Driver 1 in the early 2000s. It features a story mode which hasn't been seen since Toka Race Driver 2 back in 2004. But how does Grid Legends fare up today though? Upon pressing the start button on the title screen, you are sent straight into the prologue of the story mode where Raven West and Seneca Racing are battling for points in the Greed World series with a massive pileup taking place. After finishing the prologue race, players then have the choice to continue the story or go straight into Greed's career mode. The story centers on the rise of Seneca Racing after a series of struggles in the past. Through a series of races acting as story chapters, the team builds up a reputation and eventually joins the GRID Pro Series where they face Raven West in the battle to become the GRID World Series champions. Each chapter of the story mode has an objective in order to unlock the next chapter. Hence the story mode is pretty much linear and straightforward. Exceeding the objectives do not affect the dialogue of the cutscenes or the radio chatter during races similar to that of F1 2021 story mode. Cutscenes are made using mixed reality with real actors on the set and is done very well. The career mode of Grid Legends has been restructured once again compared to Grid 2019 and is much more simplified now compared to its predecessor. Players start in the rookie series of races and work their way to reach the gauntlet which is the pinnacle race of Grid Legends. Some events require upgrades to the cars but a certain amount of distance driven is required before the upgrades are unlocked for the car which is a good thing so players can understand the limits of a car better in stock form before making upgrades. And in addition to car upgrades, you could also upgrade your team stats in order for you to be able to get better rewards on races, get discounts on buying new cars, and to improve your teammates abilities on the races. Qualifying sessions have been removed in the career mode races and the AI has been tweaked a little. Some AI opponents can randomly lose control of the car and crash or have a mechanical failure during the race which adds to the immersion. Drifting events also make a return in the series as they were not present in the 2019 reboot. The cars in Grid Legends feel much more grippy and planted compared to the reboot from 2019. Many players from the previous game have pointed out that the curbs often unsettle the car and it seems it has been addressed right now. Perhaps it was done through a handling model update as most cars like the super touring cars are much more easier to drive compared to Grid 2019. Car setup is still limited however as it only offers basic settings such as short or long gear ratios and suspension settings for the whole of the car rather than each of the individual sides. Overall, the handling in Grid Legends is great fun on all types of controls, be it a gaming wheel, a gamepad, and even a keyboard. Although for keyboard gamers, a little remapping is recommended depending on the player preference as the default mapping is a little awkward. The multiplayer is simplified too. Aside from custom lobbies, a quick race option is available wherein players can jump and take control of a random car on the fly during a career race hosted by another player who has their event open to public. There is no separate progression or driver ratings on its multiplayer segment though as all races only provide XP for leveling up. Grid Legends is a fun racing game with a great storyline. This will appeal to casual racing gamers as well as sim racers who want to relax a little. The controls are accessible and require little to no adjustments other than the rotation settings for real users on PC. This makes it a good pick up and play racing game. There are some features taken out from the 2019 reboot and the game still has some minor bugs that have not been fixed since but none of which break the gaming experience. I would give Grid Legends an 8 out of 10. PlayStation users might find that Gran Turismo 7 will eclipse this one real soon as soon as it's released. But if you're on the Xbox or PC and you like story-driven games, then Grid Legends is definitely a good one. 
that's it for my review of Grid Legends and I hope you see you guys on the virtual tracks.